What's going on guys? So uh, just got some new parts in. About to be working on the pity over here. You know, the old trusty. I love it though. But so, got a new gold chain. I got a new fly racing vent hose for the looks. But yeah, we're gonna be installing both of these on the pity here. I mean, the old chain, if you look at it, it's actually not that bad. It's a little bit loose, but not really at the same time. Like if it was any tighter, it's perfect. It's not even rubbing on the chain glider. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the project for today. And if you guys have any questions about the pity, definitely leave them in the comments below. I read all my comments too, so not like I just say that and I don't, I don't do the stuff. So leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you on it. I can answer any questions you guys have. If you guys have a, a pit bike like mine, if you guys have the same one, you know, and you guys need some pointers, let me know. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna need to remove is going to be these bolts to hold the the casing on actually the bolts right there sorry to hold this uh like little guard on these are all gonna be eight millimeters so i'm gonna come over here and grab an eight millimeter we're gonna need that we're gonna need All right, guys, now that you got your tool all assembled, like I said, these are all going to be 8 millimeter bolts. I uh, kind of loosened them up just so you guys could see it on camera. One underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's one little one down here as well. All right, guys, so like I said, there's 8 millimeter bolts here. Um, you want to remove this plate. I've already kind of loosened them up. Kind of how I'm doing it. I just took the thing off so I could kind of slide them out. Just one by one here. And make sure you remember where they go, guys. Always. Anytime you're working with bolts. And if you don't know, refer to the shop manual, I guess. If you don't know, it's probably going to be filthy under here. So, move that one. It's gonna go to the bottom right. I usually line my stuff out like on the floor when I'm working. It's gonna go to the top. It's gonna go to the bottom left. Okay, so now this cover should just come right off. Pretty dirty. Might as well clean that while you're at it, while you have it off. That's exactly what I'm gonna do when we get all this cleaned up. So now we have this all showing and exposed. You can just take the chain off that way. And you can check your sprockets, make sure everything's okay here. It's fine, so you can check your sprockets, you can check your chains, clean all this up, make sure to go through the casing and clean that up as well, just the guard. Get it all nice and minty. Yep, pretty much. All right, guys, so now what you wanna do, you wanna go through your chain and see if you can find the master link there it is right there so you're gonna need i usually use like uh needle nose pliers so i could just pop them off i just grab it right there grab this back pin pop it off so once you get the master link off now your chain should just pop off so you can go ahead and put that down there as well and your chain should just wiggle itself off. All right, guys, so once you get the master link like clip off, you should just be able to get the master link off and then your chain should just come right apart. And then I'm gonna set you guys up here. Screwdriver, get it in there and just loosen it up because it's gonna be a little bit dirty. There it goes and it should break right off. There you go. Now, once it breaks off, now you can go ahead and put your, keep your pieces together. And you can just take your chain right off of there. Should just come right off. It's time to install the new chain. So let's let's do this, guys. I'm having to do, I'm having to, I'm gonna have to go get the chain broken because it's too long. So I gotta get to match the same size. So what that means for us is, I'm gonna go get the chains broken real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, Alright guys, we're back. I just wanna say shout out to RNS. 
Shout out to RNS West. They hooked it up though. Shout out to RNS West. You guys hooked it up on the chain. I really appreciate it. Now it's time to put it on the pit bike. Got the new chain all on there. Now it's just time to tighten it up. Pull it back. Tighten it up a bit. A little bit of slack. New chains on. Master links on. Ready to rock. All right. So we got the finished project, guys. What do you guys think? Smooth. You can't even hear it. Like butter. Got the gold chain to match the gold skid plate. I'm freaking stoked. Now the last thing that we got to do. Freaking. I've been waiting all day to put this one on because this one's gonna boost the power so sickly instant horsepower right here so what you want to do first you want to unhook it there to get that unhooked toss to the side you don't need that shit like your new one in oh yeah we're ready to rock now if you guys enjoyed that let me know if that helped i know i didn't go into too much detail but i mean it's pretty simple with changing a chain so remember just these Boom, boom, there was one underneath. Remove the case, clean it on the inside, put your new chain on, boom, put it all together. Important, make sure both of your, these little hash marks right here, make sure everything's lining up on the other side as well so you know you're riding straight. Make sure guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave some feedback below. I appreciate you guys tuning back in. Have a good one.